Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for two Facebook groups fans of Serif Software and the Affinity Designer and Photo group. Someone recently on one of the Facebook groups asked if it was possible to crop a layer but not crop the whole document. Um, and the various suggestions were added to this person's question and even a little small video was made but with no sound and what have you so I thought I'd sort of try and group together all the ideas and the video sort of into one main video to help try and explain you know better how this can be done in both Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer um, on the Mac and PC. Um, I would imagine pretty much also on the iPad although I don't own one of them so I really don't know how similar that is to the computer versions. So to show you what this person wanted I've just made a, a simple background added a white layer and if I just add this image I'll just copy this in and then paste in this new layer. So what this person wanted was to crop the image here but leave like the white layer A4. Now I'm guessing he was use, trying to use it the crop tool which unfortunately will crop the whole document. It won't crop just the layer you are on. Um, because it doesn't seem to be an option up here to just crop border um, layer or the whole document. So if I double click in there it will crop the whole document. Now you could save this, you know, export it and then bring this back in and paste this into the document um, let me just press Ctrl and Z to get back to that and I'll hide that um, so I could now um, open a cropped version of this in Affinity Photo paste that in. So that is one way you could do it. It's rather long-winded and simple and not very good way of doing it but it is a way of doing it. And then you could resize and what have you that way. So that is version 1 and it's probably the least likely way you would ever want to do it but it is an option. So let's just look at another version that you could use. Now this time I've already set this up, I've got the document size um, layer at the bottom with the white background and the image and I'm going to use the regular rectangular marquee tool to make the selection area that I want. Now this is selecting the area inside the box but I actually want the area outside the box so I need to invert that selection. So if I come up to the select menu you have invert pixel selection or you can do control shift and I. I'm guessing on the Mac it's command shift and I but if you click on that it will now mean that is this whole area on the outside that is selected. Now what we need to do now is to come up to edit and we're going to come to the cut command which is control and X or command and X on a Mac or just click on this option here and then that will cut away the excess area that we don't want and you can deselect now by from the select menu 
you can come to deselect or press Control and D or Command and D. And if I come to the Move tool now, I can move this around to wherever I want and it is cropped but not the whole document. And again, you can resize this however you want, move it around wherever you want. So that is version 2 of how you can do this. Let's move on to version 3 and it's probably the better way of doing it, the more professional way of doing it. Um, again, I've already preset this up, but this time rather than the selection rectangular tool, I'm going to use the rectangular tool in itself and then I'm just going I'm I'm not 100% certain whether it has to be white but by default it will be white I don't know whether this will work in other colors but I'm going to draw a white box over the area that I want like that and it will then add that new layer above the background layer and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and highlight this background image layer and then I'm going to click and drag it up and move it into and group with this rectangular layer here. I'll click and drag this up and as you can see that has now dropped that image into that rectangular box I made. If I just drop this down. Now this layer, image layer, is highlighted so if I come to the Move tool, I should be able to move that image around within the box. The box is not moving, it is the image underneath. So you can reposition it however you want it. And you can also resize it if you wanted. So you could get the whole image in something like that. So you have more options um, in how you have control over the image doing it this way which is why it's probably a, a more professional way of doing it um, and just to show that it does work on designer I'll try and do this as quickly as possible this is a designer and again I've already set it up and I can use the same rectangular tool Right, a white box and then click and drag that layer into the new layer and come to the move tool you can either move the whole box you know, and resize it or you can highlight the background image that's within inside that box and just move the image and the other way now this isn't available in the draw persona you'll have to come to the pixel persona to get the rectangular marquee tool just draw your box come to the select invert pixel selection and cut and then deselect so again, coming to the move tool, you can move that around to wherever you want. So that is both those two ways in a designer and photo. So this last thing I want to look at is, is say I'm going to make this mock document, which I've just basically set up with a heading and some odd text and I want to put my image here. Now I have this image already here but I've hidden it. So I'm going to draw the box that I want to put it, this image into to about there and then I'm going to drag this into that box 
And what I will do, I don't know whether this will work yet, I've well not fully tested this yet, but I'm going to lock that layer, so hopefully it will not alter the size of that layer. But I do want to be able to move the image and resize the image within that box. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do, I hope, here. So I'll leave it at that. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do. Once I've made the box that I wanted to go into that area, I can move the image into the rectangle and then alter it accordingly. And you've got your mock document. So I'm hoping that clears up the three different ways that you could possibly get around cropping the image that's on one layer but without cropping the whole document. I hope that's all made sense. Thank you for watching and goodbye.